This partnership, 33 runs off 23 balls. What an important partnership this is for Pakistan. And yes, got him. It was on the front foot, but it was pretty low. And Vittori gets his first wicket of the test. Well, we said the skipper was going to take the responsibility to come on and get the wicket, and that's his strength. Skidding on, and without an inside edge. That's out. So Vittori strikes immediately. Umar Gul departs after a breezy 17. Oh. Just have a look at what Umar Gul thought about this LBW decision. Have a look at his leg after he gets stuck there and let's see what he tries to do with his front pad. Have a look, have a look, have a look. Have a look there. Tries to get it outside off stump and look back as if to say it outside the line of off stump. A bit late, sir. Yeah. Well done, lads. Good. They can overcome this misfortune, misfortune of uh, 91 plus Pakistan. Oh, oh. <laughs> Everything happened in slow motion. 73 kilometres per hour. Chris Martin. Does he have another one? Yes, he will. Tim Southey takes the catch. And Chris Martin will pick up his third wicket. And it'll be number 500 in first class cricket for Chris Martin. So I'm sure his teammates probably don't know that as yet, but 500 first class wickets for Chris Martin. Caught Tim Southey. And Tanvir out for 18. Wahab Riaz will remain not out on naught at bat 122.1 overs really good contributions all the way through really from two to ten and just a couple of zeros top and bottom tim mcintosh and his partner would be just a little bit under pressure as well they need to get off to a good start here new zealand yeah never easy when you are behind the eight ball 92 runs a trail by umar gore stretching Looks very painful. Well, there he is. First ball, McIntosh on strike. And he's off the mark straight away. But uh, nowadays, McCallum's underway. And that is nice. Just turned off his hip. Nicely timed. And he's off the mark with a boundary. He's a special player, Brendan McCallum. A lot of talent. One. The call is one. They might get two, and they will. Hey, just to finish off on, on Umar Gula, I just got the feeling that he was more considered a 50 over and a 2020 bowler. But as things have changed in Pakistan cricket, and certain guys have come and gone for different reasons, he's, he's become the, the number one man in their uh, test side now. now. He's most vulnerable early to McIntosh. If he gets away, he seems to score good totals. That's a big appeal. Maybe pitching outside leg, a little bit of height involved. Let's have a look also at Tim McIntosh's line of sight. What's he looking at? OK, he's not out. It's pitched outside leg stump. End of story. Yeah. Cullum cuts this time. That'll be four. Give it away. This outfield is very quick. Like the attitude from McCullum straight away. Absolutely. Doesn't matter to him whether it's the last over before T or not, he's going to go and have a ball out there. Really was a thumping cut shot. In position early and knew exactly where the fielder was. That shot missing the fielder. And Omar Gold there, I think, did overstep. It's, uh, it's getting to the sort of surface where you tend to chop the ball back onto your stumps. I think straight's the way to go early. That is one that you can cut because that was short and that was wide and asked for it. That's close again. That's very close. Shake of the head. Did he hit it? Did he get an inside edge? It was busy sounding. A couple of noises maybe. Oh, 
it's very similar to the first time of it's maybe pitched outside leg maybe a little bit high probably the combination of both he's, he's, he's going to be testing the umpire's patience oh, it's very well, close he didn't hit it so uh, i was wrong there i think that's very similar to the first one if you're not given the first one you can't really give that either that's closer that's much closer and not out again oh dear me this is uh, a real interrogation here Oh, that's very close. I think McIntosh's heart will be in his mouth. Oh, rigor. Don't say rigor, I'm the one that didn't say not out. <laughs> he's got away with one there, I think. What concerns me, look at how he's still on the move over a very straight front leg. Now, that's uh, been something that has been spoken about in volumes with to McIntosh as well in the past now I'd prefer to see that foot on the ground earlier than that and that front knee bending and then the back comes down it's almost everything goes together and he plays her on that very straight front pad cuts cuts well again has he timed it well enough no it's a good stop well done Bring up a little bit of width again for McCullum. Edge dropped. Well, how many chances? How many chances? One have we seen today? And how many chances to get established is McIntosh going to get? Well, it's a ripper from goal. It's a healthy edge. And it's just got to him a little bit quickly. Perfect length. It's a full length. Here's Tambia. Oh, that's not a particularly good delivery. That is fair smash to the boundary. Well, that's right in the slot for McCullum. We've seen a few action replays of that shot. And a little fast take the shine off the ball. And again, invited again, and the same result, and fair enough. Wait on, wait on. He's got this one through. He had to wait to see if he beat the field. So Tan there over adjusting there. And McCullum isn't going to miss out today. He goes for the fast Yorker. He got it pretty good and he bowled it fast as well. 33 for no wicket. And the players appear to be sauntering off towards the pavilion because it's tea time here. In Hamilton. With New Zealand at 33 for no wicket. Thanks mainly to the efforts of Brennan McCullum. Who's there at 30 from just 28 balls. Looking very good in fact. And Tim McIntosh, who's hung on by the skin of his teeth.